April 26, 1940. Over the past few days, we have been patrolling the North Sea in search of enemy shipping. We've been tasked with knocking out as many Allied ships as possible to ensure a swift victory in Norway. We happened upon a large convoy consisting of numerous cargo ships as well as destroyers, whom are no doubt heading towards the front lines in Norway. We have been methodically picking off ships as they near Norway, but luck has not been on our side this time around, as it seems our torpedoes are struggling to sink the ships with a single blow. I fear that we won't be able to completely cripple the convoy, which means our soldiers in Norway will have to fight just a little longer in order to achieve victory. This is completely unacceptable, and my crew and I will strive to decimate this convoy at all costs. Hey everybody, how you guys doing? My name is Craze Jester, and welcome back to the continued episode of U-Boats. And when we last left off, we were in hot pursuit of this convoy, which we have done a pretty good job of uh, knocking out. It appears as though we, I mean, we definitely have at least one destroyer. It's looking like two cargo ships. And I'm assuming this is probably going to be a destroyer. There's another destroyer off to the back, but this might be a third cargo ship. So, line of action. I'd like to sail right down the middle of this convoy. We have a destroyer on the outside, destroyer to the left, and it looks like we might have three cargo ships. So we can sail right down the center of this. Get in position, knock out these two. I feel like once we knock out these two cargo ships, these destroyers will probably just head back to England, because there's really no reason for him to continue to follow. However, we are low on our battery. We're at 22% capacity, so we have to kind of keep a safe distance, so we'll probably go forward to keep a safe distance, keep them on the horizon. Nighttime's about ready to fall, so that'll actually help us a lot more. Get in position, knock out two, and then deal with the last one once these two destroyers head back. That's the plan. I'm sticking to it, let me tell you. Really quick though, let's go ahead and take a look at our uh, torpedo situation, if we can. As uh, I, I'm i pretty sure we're almost depleted completely. Torpedo situation, as of right now, we have four ready to rock and roll, two in reserve, and then we obviously have one aft torpedo, so we can still do it. We can still completely decimate this uh, convoy before it reaches Norway. And that's going to be the plan. We've moved around them in hopes of uh, being able to just come across the cargo ships only. What I want to do right now is go ahead and drop down to periscope depth. Get a hydrophone. Listening here if we can please. You sir, go ahead and warm up the torpedoes. I want a proper hydrophonist on this right now helping me out. Go ahead and see how far away we are from them. There they are. Oh, yes. And it appears as though we have our fellow U-boat helping us out here, which is nice. So here's the two destroyers that we've been trying to avoid. So we continue. Just head up. And I think we're under the cover of fog right now. We continue to head up. We're going to actually run right into these cargo ships. But as you can see, it looks like it's a little foggy out right now, so we're actually benefiting from this. Let's go ahead and surface the boat, please. Get one on the engines if we can. Thank you. And let's go ahead and go forward five and try and catch up to these uh, cargo ships. We'll do a little bit of time compression as well. Try and get things moving. Also, we have a destroyer that's coming up the side of us, so we got to keep an eye out for that. Now let's go ahead and drop down again to periscope depth, get a hydrophone going. We'll also reduce our speed to so make sure our hydrophone can actually hear much better. And now let's see what we're dealing with. There we go. Perfect. This is exactly what we're looking for. I have no idea how our uh, fellow U-boat's doing right now, if he's been picked up by the destroyers in the rear here. However, we're gonna have a little bit of a problem as we have three destroyers that are coming back. So we're going to go ahead and go forward three. We'll do a little bit of time compression. Come in at an angle and try and cut these guys off. We'll see where these destroyers are actually heading. And it looks like these destroyers are going to go right through them, which uh, works out for us. They must be doing some kind of patrol. All right. I know we are... It's, I mean, gosh. 
the, the cloud right, cover, the fog is absolutely abysmal. We can't see our own bloody hand in front of our face. But I have torpedoes that I need to get off this boat. And we do have orders. Oh, hello. Did uh, the fog just clear? No. However, we can see a hell of a lot further now, which is promising. Has luck just gotten on our side? Drop down periscope depth. And uh, go ahead and stop engines if we can. <gasps> I think we just lucked out, ladies and gentlemen. We can now see 600 meters in front of us instead of the original 300. Go ahead and get a course lined up here. Oh my goodness, I think we lucked out. 590 meters. That is enough to arm the torpedoes. And if that is the case, we are taking the shot. Where is everybody else? So I think we're... I think we are set. Can we actually spot this ship yet? I don't think we can. There it is. Beautiful. Up periscope, please. Let's go ahead and start doing what we do best. Empire Tower. A velocity, I'm going to say, of seven knots. Personally, I think that's uh, just just about right I dare say we're at a 90 if not like 87 88 look at that almost are we setting up the torpedoes as well we are we actually have oh, torpedo fine. 2 that is loaded and ready to rock we can increase the speed here 34 knots of depth 2.5 works for me let's go ahead and wait for this guy to get right in front of us a little bit of time compression and then we are sending it. Go ahead and change the course again just to get it where we need it. 88.6 works. Go ahead and fire. Los! 40 Sekunden bis torpedo, torpedo away. 30 Sekunden. Torpedo away. Go ahead and get rid of all this nonsense if we can. And drop the boat. 20 Sekunden. 40 meters. Opposite direction, please. And there it is, center punched. Beautiful. Full flame. Ending destroyer at one hour. We can't do anything about that right now. All right, perfect. Captain, go ahead and leave your position. Let's get down there and start uh, deploying. A decoy if we can, please. How many do we have on? No, we don't have any on us right now, that's fine. Transfer. And here we go. One decoy away. And now we are going to go the complete opposite direction. Oh, you know what, actually? Let's go north. It looks like it's dead in the water. It is. And we're just going to punch straight out. Make sure that it actually sinks. And then we'll, uh, we'll see what we're dealing with. Go ahead and go forward four, please. Destroyers are heading in, no doubt, to check out the sonar here. Let's go ahead and make our getaway while we can. Okay, go ahead and stop right here. They are sending depth charges down to the decoy. Here is our fellow U-boat. Jesus, man, you need to watch out. What are you doing here? Depth charges away. It is ridiculous. Ridiculously packed. Oh my goodness, and they are probably going to be picking up this guy. Go ahead and go forward four. Yep, they have picked up on our fellow U-boat. Why would you go right into him, you you fool? Why would you do that? Oh my goodness. Get in between these guys to be hidden by the prop blasts. Oh my goodness, why would you go in the middle of all the frickin' destroyers? Alright, the destroyers are pretty much scrambling all over the place. Trying, I don't know if they're trying to find us or the fellow U-boat that was with us. However, we have been able to isolate these two cargo ships. So, this is going to be pretty risky. However, I think it's going to be worth it. We are going to go to Periscope Depth. Let's go ahead and see what we're dealing with in terms of view. View is not very good at all, it looks like. 
No, it's not. But we are going to cut in and try and get another torpedo off here. What are we doing? Forward one is what we need to do, please. Go ahead and get a rough course. Go ahead and stop. Rough course of where these guys are going. Alright, here's our next target. In line. Uh, okay, we gotta do this pretty quick. And we don't have enough data collected yet. But we kind of know what it's probably going to be. We can just say Empire Tower to start. I think that's going to be fine. Speed 7 knots. Course, roughly 86. And a distance, we are close. 440 meters. 450 meters. Let's go ahead and load 2-1. Oh, We're going to do the same thing. Set it to 44 knots at a depth of 2.5. Wait for this to get at 0, and then we are firing. Oh, eins. All right, let's go ahead and readjust the course that we can, please. 88, distance of 450, and fire. Torpedo away, torpedo away. 20 Sekunden. And it is going very fast. Come on, let's get a good hit here. Good hit. Treffer. There we go, center punched again. Beautiful. Serious damage. Exactly what we need. Perfect. I gotta say, it's a little, uh, a little dicey, isn't it? Trying to do this this close to the uh, this close to the ships and with all this bloody fog. Let's go ahead and drop down 40 meters again. We can go forward two. We'll try and stay close. A little time compression here, and it looks like it might be going under. And sure enough, it is actually going under. There we go. That is one more under our belt. Okay. Moment of truth. And we've got all the destroyers closing in our location. We have five destroyers and one very, very minor cargo ship right here. We've completely decimated this cargo convoy completely. I wish I had live chat, but do we go after it? Or do we say, screw it, oh my gosh, we need to get the pumps going here, ladies and gentlemen. We are underwater almost. Go ahead and get another decoy out. Going the wrong way in my own boat. You think I'd know this as a captain? I'm saying that we call this mission accomplished. And we head back. Here we go, launch a decoy. Decoy launch, we go out the path of least resistance here. All right, decoy is out. I feel like they've kind of taken the bait, but we've got two destroyers here that are just being a little obnoxious right now and following us. And we have another one coming in very fast. Have they picked us up again? Yes, keep going, you bloody bastards. There's nothing to see here. What's our battery at? 16%. We really need him to actually, quite frankly, piss off so he can surface and redo everything. Hello? Did we not actually... Oh my goodness. This never actually sunk. We have to go finish the job on this. Let's go ahead and go forward too. And let's go ahead and go head back to this. It's wreckage, but we never actually officially sunk it, so as far as we're concerned... We're not going to get the stats for that. Battery capacity, 12%. Let's go ahead and go up to periscope depth, please. See if there's anything around that we need to worry about before we actually completely surface. And I imagine it's still bloody foggy. Yes, it is still terribly foggy. All right, well, the destroyers are still doing their thing, searching, which allows us to get up close and personal with this ship. We are at a battery capacity of 6%. Let's go ahead and surface the boat if we can. Please turn on diesel compressors. And uh, let's finish the job on this wreckage right here if we can. AP loaded, yes. All right, let's get this going.
Oh, there's the confirmation. Now it is officially sinking. I can't believe that a torpedo didn't actually sink that one. Huh. Good thing we came back this way and found that, otherwise we would never have gotten the credit for it. Okay. Now it's officially time to get the hell out of Dodge. We can go and see if there's anyone here. Oh, there is. Look at that. Go ahead and get all these values off to BDU if we can, please, while we have the opportunity. Perfect. Well, I gotta say, overall, not bad. A little messy in order to knock out the whole of the convoy, but we did manage to knock out 90% of them. Granted, there's some destroyers that are still up and going, and there's one more very tiny cargo ship, but overall, not bad. We definitely crippled that, uh, that convoy. It's gonna give the Allies a hell of a time trying to actually fight back in Norway. Plan of action right now, I think what we're gonna do is we might as well head back to base, resupply, and get right back out there again. So that's the plan. We're, we're not going to go on any kind of vacation. It is business right back there, resupply the boat. It might take us about a week time total, and then we are heading right back out. So we're going to go ahead and set a course back to the port of Wilhelmshaven. And uh, yeah, that's the plan of action. Let's go back to the port and get ready for the last mission of Norway. Here we go. So here we are, finally returned and ready to rock. Go ahead and see all of our trophies that we've sunk. We did a pretty good job overall, actually. I mean, gross total tonnage is 26,394. I'll happily take that. We managed to completely achieve getting that escort that we needed to get to uh, Norway, which helps. All right, so here we are. As I said, we are not messing around. Loading the boat up again with all the torpedoes that we need and ammunition as well as fuel. And then we are turning around and getting right back out there. We don't have any HE at the uh, Port of Wilhelmshaven anymore. They need to think about resupplying that, as I could use some. Fuel. How's our fuel looking? There we go. And items. <gasps> Do they not have any more sonar decoys? No. Oh, there they are. Whew, scared me. There we go. Five more sonar decoys as well. What's that gonna look like for time? Two days time. That's okay. It took three days to get back. Here's two days to actually get our boat resupplied. Show me what you've got. I think we can still fit some more uh, torpedoes on board here, right? No? Okay, that's it. Well, perfect. Five days time. Let's go ahead and go and... Oh, we have to release the survivors. That's right. I brought some survivors for you. Free. There we go. Get all that extra... XP and money, and now are there any orders from Admiralty? And that should allow us to get the Norwegian campaign. Here we go. Yes. Perfect. New mission, Norwegian campaign, escort duty, which also means that the escort is already out and going again. And there it is. Without any further delay, we are going. Go ahead and forward three, please. And let's catch up to this convoy, shall we? We have the last mission for the Norway campaign. But we'll be right back then. We're going to go ahead and catch up to this convoy and see what this has. All right, well, we'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and catch up to this convoy, and we'll see what this mission has in store for us. Stand by.